Saint Paulinus II, c. 726, the 11th of January 802 or 804 AD, was a priest, theologian, poet, and one of the most eminent scholars of the Carolingian Renaissance. From 787 to his death, he was the Patriarch of Aquileia. He participated in a number of synods which opposed Spanish adoptionism and promoted both reforms and the adoption of the Filioque into the Nicene Creed. In addition, Paulinus arranged for the peaceful Christianization of the Avars and the Alpine Slavs in the territory of the Aquilian Patriarchate. For this, he is also known as the Apostle of the Slovenes. Life Early life Paulinus was born at Primariaco, near Cividale the Roman Forum Ilii in the Friuli region of northeastern Italy, probably of a Roman family though distinctions between Roman and Lombard no longer existed during the latter days of Lombard rule. He received his education in the Patriarchal School at Cividale and, after ordination to the priesthood, he became master of the same school. There he acquired a thorough Latin culture, both in pagan and Christian classics. He also acquired a relatively deep knowledge of jurisprudence, and an extensive scriptural, theological, and patristic training. Carolingian Renaissance Paulina's educational background prepared him to play a key part in the Carolingian Renaissance, allowing him to capably assist in the promotion of Christendom and the restoration of Western civilization after centuries of unstable barbarian rule. It was precisely because of his exceptional learning that Paulinus first came to the attention of Charlemagne in 774 when the King of the Franks conquered all of Lombard northern Italy for the Carolingian Empire. Moreover, because of his loyalty to Charlemagne during Duke Rodgo's rebellion in 776, Paulinus was rewarded with many favors, among them the gift of the property of Waldand, son of Mimo of Laveriano, by means of a diploma issued by Charlemagne from Ivrea. In the same year, Charlemagne also invited Paulinus to the palace court to be royal master of grammar, grammaticus magister. It was at the itinerant palace school Shola Palatina that Paulinus would stay for about ten years and make the acquaintance of other leading scholars of the age, including Peter of Pisa, Alcuin of York, Fardulf, Arno of Salzburg, Albrico, Ricolf, Raifget, Rado, Lullus, Bacinus, Fuldrad, Egonard, Adelard and Adelbert. He formed an enduring friendships with Alcuin as attested to by numerous letters. <laughs> Patriarch of Achilleia Topic. On the death of Patriarch Sigwald in 787, Charles appointed Paulinus to be consecrated as the Patriarch of Aquileia. Paulinus returned from court to his episcopal see and took up residence at Cividale, also the seat of the Carolingian count in charge of the March of Friuli. Aquileia itself had been reduced to a tiny village after its destruction in 452 by Attila the Hun, although the patriarchal basilica remained there. As patriarch, Paulinus was able to take a more active and prominent part in implementing societal reforms. In his relations with the churches of Istria, or with the nearby Patriarch of Grado, the representative of Byzantine interests, he exhibited prudence and pastoral zeal. Meanwhile, from Charlemagne, Paulinus obtained diplomas for the free election of the future patriarchs by the cathedral chapter of Aquileia, and other privileges for his patriarchate as well as for the monastery of St. Mary in Organo, the church of St. Lawrence in Bugia, and the hospitals of St. John at Cividale and St. Mary at Verona. Synods Paulinus was solicitous for the integrity of Catholic doctrine. In 792, he took part in the Council of Ratisbon, which condemned the heresy of Spanish adoptionism taught by Spanish bishops, Elipandus of Toledo and Felix of Urgell. In 794, he took a leading part in the Frankish National Council at Frankfurt, where adoptionism was again condemned, and composed a book against the heresy which was sent to Spain in the name of the assembled bishops. Departing Frankfurt, Paulinus returned to his episcopal residence at Cividale. In 796 he accompanied Charlemagne's son Pepin in his military campaign against the nearby hostile Avars. 
In late summer of 796, after the Avars had been defeated, Paulinus presided over a synod of bishops at Pepin's military camp on the banks of the Danube in which the bishops decided on a program of evangelization and catechesis for the recently subdued territories inhabited by the Avars and the Slavs. With the consent of Paulinus, the synod also assigned the Patriarchate of Achilleia's northernmost territory to the Bishop of Salzburg, headed by Arno. The border between the dioceses was drawn on the Drava River. The agreement was confirmed in 811 by Charlemagne and lasted for almost a millennium, until the middle of the 18th century. At the advice of Alcuin of York, it was decided that the areas should be Christianized nonviolently. Nowadays, the Slovenes regard Paulinus as their apostle who peacefully brought them Christian religion, although the true missionary activity in the Aquilian sphere started only after his death. Returning from the Synod, Paulinus once more opposed the adoptionism at the Council of Cividale. The Patriarch expounded the Western Catholic doctrine of the Holy Trinity, affirming the double procession of the Holy Spirit from the Father and the Son. Filioque. At this synod fourteen canons of ecclesiastical discipline, and on the sacrament of marriage, were framed and a copy of the Acts was sent to Charlemagne. Paulinus was once thought to have assisted at a council of Altonum, but the theologian Karl Joseph von Heffel has provided evidence that such a council never occurred. Topic. Mrs. Dominicus Topic. Always protesting the immunity of the Church from secular obligations and interference in his correspondences with Charlemagne, Paulinus, nonetheless, served as one of Charlemagne's Missi Dominici at Pistoia, with Arno of Salzburg and ten other bishops, in 798. Afterwards he also travelled to Rome as legate to Pope Leo III. Much of the activity of Paulinus as Patriarch can be gathered from the Sponsio Episcoporum ad S. Achilleiensum Sedum. He died, revered as a saint by the Catholic Church. Works Among his works are, Libellus Sacrosyllabus contra Elipandum, Liber Exhortationis, Libri III contra Felicum, and the Protocol of the Conference with Pepin and the Bishops on the Danube, a work very important for the history of that expedition. Among his early works is a commentary on the letter to the Hebrews which, however, remains in manuscript form. Paulinus was also a poet. Among his better-known poetical productions are his Carmen de Regula Fidei, a Versus de Lazaro, a Planctus or Elegy inspired by the death of his friend, Duke Eric of Friuli who was killed in siege of Trsat, 799, a rhythm on the destruction of Achilleia, and eight liturgical rhythms or hymns to be sung in his own church at Christmas, the Candlemas, Lent, Easter, the Feast of St. Mark, the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul known by Incipit Felix per Omnes Festum Mundi Cardines, and the Feast of the Dedication of his Cathedral. Letters written by and to Paulinus are preserved in the Monumenta Germanica Historica and Patrologia Latina. Veneration After several translations the relics of the Patriarch were laid to rest under the altar of the crypt of the Basilica of Cividale del Friuli. The first appearance of the name St. Paulinus in the liturgy occurs in the Litania of Charles the Bald of the 9th century. It appears also in the Litania Carolina, in the Litania S. Patribus Constitutae, and finally in the manuscript Litania of the Gertrudian of the 10th century. <laughs> Feast day in manuscripts prior to the martyrology of Ujard his feast day is recorded on of January. In the calendars of saints of the 13th, 14th and 15th centuries, used in the Church of Achilleia and Cividale, his feast has a special rubric. Until the 16th century, the feast continued to be celebrated on of January, during the privileged octave of the Epiphany. The Patriarch Francesco Barbaro at the beginning of the 17th century translated the feast to 9 February. The Church of Cividale keeps his feast on 2 March. According to the most recent 2004 edition of the Roman Martyrology, Paulina's feast day is assigned to the date of his death, the 11th of January. References
Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Saint Paulinus II, Patriarch of Achilleia. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Martyrologium Romanum, Editio Altera, Città del Vaticano, Libraria Editrice Vaticana, 2004 94. History of the Christian Church, Vol. 4, Mediaeval Christianity 1. Atwater, Donald and Catherine Rachel John. The Penguin Dictionary of Saints, 3rd edition. New York, Penguin Books, 1993. ISBN 0-14-051312-4. Nicholas Everett. Paulinus, the Carolingians and Famosissima Achilleia. In Paulino d. Achilleia e il contributo italiano al. Europa Carolingia, ed. Paolo Chiesa, Udine, 2003, pp. 115 to 154. Nicholas Everett, Paulinus of Achilleia's Sponsio Episcoporum: Written Oaths and Clerical Discipline in Carolingian Italy. In W. Robbins, ed. Textual Cultures of Medieval Italy, University of Toronto Press, 2011, pp. 167 to 216, includes new edition of Latin text with Eng. Translation of the Sponsio. Carl Giannani, Paulinus II, Patriarch von Achilleia, Wien, Verlag, 1896. 2. Dag Norberg, L. Ouvre poétique de Paulin d. Aquilae. Stockholm, 1979, edition of all poetic texts. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed., 1913. St. Paulinus II, Patriarch of Achilleia. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton.